Hello everyone. So in our uh, in my previous video we have talked about uh, uh, Splunk inventory asset inventory Splunk uh, version inventory plus Splunk uh, app inventory app and add on inventory. So in this uh, uh, video we are going to talk about uh, uh, upgrade path compatibility check compatibility check will will include app or add ons compatibility and then Splunk to Splunk uh, compatibility. It's all about the version compatibility to the target Splunk core version. Okay, so let's deep dive into it. So this this part is all about discovery uh, discovering of your environment. Okay, so this will be the third part of uh, discovering the environment. Now uh, the upgrade path. So how will you know the upgrade part? Let's let's see. Uh, in in the in the previous video, uh, we have uh, identified discovered that uh, our Splunk version is uh, 7.0.0. Now uh, let's see the Splunk target version. Target version. is 9.0.0 for example so this will be the target version <coughs> okay uh, i will copy this as well this will be the target version of our uh, environment where uh, we are going to upgrade Splunk from 7 to uh, 9 7, 7x to 9x now now <coughs> let's go to Splunk uh, doc I will provide you link uh, of this if you want you want, you can write down so I will go to 9 version 9 now in this in install manual if I go down here it is mentioned we are currently on 7.7.0.x <coughs> and we have to our target version is uh, 9.0.x okay so uh, there uh, we cannot directly jump from 7.0 to 9.0 so first we need to upgrade either to uh, 8.0 or 8.1 so <clears throat> uh, like uh, there will be a two upgrade so this this is very very important uh, to identify the path of uh, Splunk so that we can we can define a project timeline so like here it will be two upgrade if your Splunk is on 8.1 or 8.2 you can directly jump to a uh, 9.x so similarly if you are on 8.0 you need to first go to 8.1 or 8.2 and then, then jump to 9. So this will be a very crucial thing where you are estimating time or resource efforts. So please keep in mind uh, this, this point is very important. So now we are in uh, 7.0 uh, and now the in our intermediate version will be like I'll consider 8 dot so Splunk target 1 target 1 version so I uh, you, you can mention the intermediate uh, Splunk target Splunk uh, version so by dot 0 similarly I will put it so uh, now if you are estimating your efforts so it will be double of uh, the initial efforts where you just uh, trying to mention from one version to one another version it will be a one version to intermediate and then intermediate to the final target version okay this this call uh, this called as a upgrade path okay now the second part uh, will be the compatibility check so this is also very important so like say you uh, in in, in uh, previous discovery uh, section we have identified that identified that 
we have few of the application with specific uh, compatibility so let's see we have es content update application installed on search it so as i already mentioned let let me show you so this is the version we had so now i will i will go to splunk base search for this application go to splunk base search for this particular application hit enter it will land to this particular page so the app is loaded now you choose your version i think it's uh, 32 now wait for for some time it will load all the all the compatibility metrics now here you need to keep in mind that it should be compatible with your target version so target version is 9.0 and also 8.1 so sometime sometimes it happens that uh your target uh, the uh, the app current version is not compatible with your target version so in that case you need to check you need to upgrade your uh, application uh, uh, your app or add on whichever is installed on your environment so again you go to your inventory sheet now is it uh, compatibility with uh, target version 1 so one what what we decided one one is our 8. Dot, uh, the target one is 8.1.0 dot dot so now it is it compatible yes so the you can see the compatibility with target splunk version so it is compatible yes so target uh, compatible with the final final or target 2 target 2 or final target final splunk target so is it compatible yes so upgrade needed you can mention upgrade needed yes or no so here we mention no so similarly you can create a list yes no yes no if in case it is not compatible with this it will show no no an upgrade needed yes and you also mention the app target version app target version target version here it will be na because not required and it will be some something like this is an example maybe it is compatible with all all the things may so a dot whatever the version you want to check so current version of it. let's see. let's see what is the mltk current version so mltk current version mm so i'm giving this an example so it is uh, current version is 3. Uh, 5.3.3 so it is compatible with this and this. so also before upgrading you need to focus that it is that the current version is com not compatible with the 7.x which is current version so first uh, so you can upgrade uh, upgrade this app only when you are a on 8.1 so once you upgraded your splunk on 8.1 then you upgrade this this application this particular application and then move to 9.0 so i am not mentioning anything over here this this is you need to make it by yourself you you can create another uh, column or where, wherever you want to note it down so this is this is very crucial thing when we are doing it so this is about the app compatibility compatibility so next will be uh, the splunk to splunk compatibility so sometimes sometimes what happens is uh in in a hurry just we in in some uh, cases like uh, there are that there, there is a recent case where we we found a vulnerability with the uh, present uh, uh, 
deployment server where we had to upgrade it to 9.x and uh, and and so on so we have upgraded it and then later on we upgraded all the version so first first we need to check uh, or any of the scenario like say you need to upgrade any of the uh, any of the uh, uh, splunk version first and then go to some other version so before that you need to check whether the underlying uh, underlying splunk components version is compatible with the the upper version any any of the like say if you want to make a compatibility check with this to that and and uh, hf or you have to index those so that you need to check it so for that we need to go to this link i will provide you the link the, uh, it says the current release and then you go down it says the forwarder version and the enterprise indexer version so forwarder version it, it will be mentioned here and in the indexer version it will be mentioned here also the naming convention e m h and s s is defined here so it is mentioned that e means e that means uh, you can send a event from forwarder to these uh, forwarder of this version to indexer of these versions one two three now say also if http http that means uh, http out so uh, hyper hyper transfer uh, hyper uh, transfer protocol secure so whether you can send it so it is allowed only for uh, only for 8.8.x uh, forwarder version to uh, 8.2 indexer version and 9 indexer version. similarly you can see the mapping so whatever is your scenario you need to check and note down whether we we are okay to upgrade only single part and can leave the other part behind so that we can we can upgrade it later on okay so this these things you need to note it down whether it is compatible with that and and that that thing uh, doesn't matter if you want to upgrade your full environment at once like say if you are upgrading your environment uh, one one component in this week and another component in next week and another component in next next week so at that time you need to keep in mind uh, that uh, you follow this this guideline so uh, otherwise it will break your environment that uh, sometimes it happens the data is not flowing between uh, forwarder to indexer because the matrix data will not flow because it is not mentioned over here. The, the, the HTTP secure uh, flow will not be there because uh, it is not mentioned in this list. That can be the issue. So these are the few points uh, you need to take care when you are uh, discovering your environment. So now again, I will, I will go through all the points. Uh, brief you about about all all this uh, uh, checks uh, <clears throat> in in your discovery first upgrade path you need to check the path from uh, which part to which path you need to move you cannot directly jump in certain scenarios you cannot directly jump to your target version you need to go to inter intermediate version and then go to target version then comes to the compatibility check compatibility comes comes uh, in two uh, two parts one is add on on app compatibility another one is splunk to splunk compatible component compatibility you, you mean i mean to say so add on compatibility where your your add on is compatible with existing and target version so if not you need to upgrade and you need to uh, work accord accordingly then next one is Splunk to Splunk component uh, uh, compatibility where you need to check uh, whether your uh, uh, Splunk component is is uh, compatible with the, the version uh, you are going to upgrade. So like say like so your heavy forwarder is on lower version whether it is compatible with the indexer higher version or no. So th like that you need to uh, check for all the all the components and uh, plan your upgrade accordingly so hope uh, this video is uh, much useful for you so let's meet in uh, another uh, video thanks for watching the video